Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk about where this Jesus character came from and what is the true identity of Jesus. I've touched on this in previous videos and feel that it needs more attention though. Also, the way our psychedelic mother has woven her web of reality, pre-programming and perfect in every way. So who is this Jesus character and where does he come from? To answer this question, one is to go back in time and look at history. And the only reference we really have is written history. And it's there that all things become very clear. It's commonly accepted that the ruler of the day writes history. And the rulers of the day were the Romans. And they were serious fucking fascists, ruling the world with the fucking short sword. To be accurate, the place where all of this took place was a fucking war zone. The Romans were in process of conquering the Jews, and the Jews were putting up a fierce fucking resistance. It was war. Now, how the Romans operated at the time was that the Caesar was worshipped as a god. The Romans understood the power of mythical figures, and as they went along conquering, they made sure that the local gods were incorporated. But ultimately, they wanted the citizens of Rome to worship Caesar as a god. The Jews, on the other hand, wanted nothing of it. Some of you might be familiar with the story. Just bear with me for a little while. What the Jews wanted was a Messiah to lead them in a military campaign and free them from the Roman rule. But these Roman fucks were cunning and had a lot of practice. And so they hijacked all the Jewish literature, killed the scribes and priests, and locked up the books to be studied by a team. Okay? The Jews wanted a Messiah, so they gave them one. They gave them Caesar, disguised as Jesus. So the people would worship him. That's the Roman goal. Remember, these are fascists. And with the help of, the, of Jews bought with gold, they set out to write the Gospels. The ones we have in our Bible today. How do books get through Roman screening and then part of the Roman Catholic Church, if not written by Romans? And, and of course, they were written, the Gospels are written in Greek. And weren't the saints Jews and illiterate fishermen? So anyway, so this team writes the Gospels. Now you have to ask, what is a Gospel? Well, in Greek, it's an Evangelion. An Evangelion means the good news of military victory. And this word gives us all the clues necessary to fill in the blanks. The gospel. Good news of military victory. Now, in the time, there was a guy that wrote propaganda for the Romans, or history, if you will, and he documented the conquerings of the son of the Caesar of that time, Titus, in the exact areas where Jesus had his ministry, the so-called Jesus. And there are parallels, even one part where he surrounds Jerusalem and cuts down fruit trees to find the best place to attack the wall. And later raises the temple so that no stone is left. These are actual historic military victories, hence the Gospels. And then the end result of the Gospels written both to worship Caesar or trick people into worshipping Caesar through the crucifixion. It's, it's not crucifixion, it's cruci fiction story rendering them powerless so the bible the old testament and new has been changed and been written to mold our reality into worshiping caesar which we still have today now, this is where it gets interesting because was this jesus totally fictional then well early in the 1900s some guy made a prediction, I forget who exactly, I think it was Edgar Cayce, 
Um, and he predicts that manuscripts would be found that would change the world. And he was right. They discovered the Nag Hammadi in 1945. Now, what's the significance of this, you ask me? Well, it's further clues to the truth. These scrolls were written in Coptic, not Greek. And in these scrolls, Jesus himself takes the piss out of the crucy fiction. I am he. These scrolls give us a better idea of what really was happening and does not bear the mark of the Roman. They were hidden for a reason. And again, our psychedelic mother has woven the underlying reality to perfection. We can now see how the Roman Jesus is the Antichrist Caesar, Caesar worshipped by all Christianity, creating a fictional Jesus who died for your sins, your Savior, in the process creating a God with fictional powers. And if the Bible is the book that shapes our reality, falsely of course, then if they stole the story from me, I have to claim my place as Caesar by birthright, <laughs> together with the fictional power over sin and death. I am the living Christ and I bring the good news. <laughs>